Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I want to share with you my stationary advent. Yay, so exciting. <laughs> um, before I get into it, I maybe you should share a, a bit of where my ideas or where this thought came from. I have some lovely stamps here off to the side you probably can't see, but I feel like I don't use the stamps enough. I love the rubber stamps but I don't use them enough in my journals and so I had this idea of shopping my stash I guess you can say and using it for a for like an advent I've seen several uh, YouTube videos showcasing some lovely stationary advents but I thought I would just create my own <laughs> and hopefully I'm crossing my fingers but maybe possibly something like vlogmas i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do it every single day but i really want to share my journaling process with you so it might be a very uh, short clip of me journaling and unwrapping the advent with you uh, but this video i guess is me preparing the advent i've already kind of prepared actually uh, my kids helped me greatly last night and it only took them uh, less than half an hour uh, You'll see what I mean. So I just have this tin uh, from Tokyo Disneyland I've been keeping these tins and this is a perfect way to use <laughs> finally use them uh, but they help me With wrapping these lovely Packages and so today I'm gonna be here um, punching some days and placing them on here and then so when it comes time to opening the advent I can just grab it and uh, journal away so uh, that's what I will be doing with you today is just kind of preparing these um, advents this advent with you there isn't 24 so I like I said I'm gonna try and do it every day but I, I don't think I'll be able to do it on the weekends I feel like my weekends are very busy with the kids and going out and running errands and things like that so I did um, a selection I don't know what stamps are in these uh, my kids had a lovely time well I should show you some different com papers uh, decorating and wrapping these sweet little gifts of stamps so I'm very excited to be unwrapping them with you and um, popping them in my journals. I haven't decided, I was also going to, um, sorry, I'm like on a different tangent here, but I was going to take some sticker sheets and also place them in here and kind of use them in conjunction with the stamps. So if I am able to do that before, like for example, I have, <laughs> I can see here, my sticker sheets kind of peeking through like I could use these up there's just a couple or several stickers left on the sheet but I can totally use these up in one go <laughs> so I might um, I might pull some sticker sheets out that have like just a couple of or several left that I can kind of use up and I also have a an ink pad all ready to go so that uh, when it time comes time to using the stamp I'm not like oh I don't have the ink pad out and things like that I don't want to have to think about oh which ink should I choose I'm just gonna go with this and use it in one of my journals so let's prepare the advent together I would be so glad to hear your thoughts do you think I should try <laughs> vlogmas I know I won't be able to do day one to day 25 or day 24 I, I will be very busy during the holiday time but even if it's just um, half a month or I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best please let me know if you think that's interesting if you want to see videos every day or almost every day I shouldn't say every day but if you want to see me just journaling in my journals I will try my best to do that for you I don't know sorry I forgot to mention as well I don't think I will be using my watercolors every day so I did uh, take out the Tombow markers so that there is all it's easy access and ready to go uh, especially in my like Hobonichi so every single day I will 
pull out a stamp, use it in either my Hobonichi Techo or my Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> and I think I'll definitely be using the papers as well, um, somehow, and uh, in my journals. I'm going to give you the real uh, look at my planner. I don't want to hide anything. Actually, it's not my planner, my journal. Uh, yeah, just a real look at what it's <laughs> looking like. I think prior to this video, I edited like an October journal with me video and I forgot to post it somehow. So that will most likely go up before this one um, where I kind of shared with you my journal in October. But it is now November and it's just... <laughs> But yeah, I want to share you a reality of what uh, my Hobonichi looks like. I did a total flip through of my August pages, which I'm very happy and um, excited about. So uh, August is finished. There are some spots in September that I can kind of fill out. I did end up watercoloring and doodling some things. And you can see there, but the journaling part is where I need to kind of catch up. I did some headings as well, um, but yeah, like I watercolored these, but I can definitely add some shading and things with pencil crayon. And maybe that's one of those videos where I can post part of like the vlogmas is where I do something simple like that. But yeah, so here's October. <laughs> it's October and November, I should say. It's just nothing. I mean, there's some doodles, but a lot of it's missing. So what I'm thinking for vlogmas, I'm just going to start from... I'm not going to be too concerned about the days. I was also thinking about um, using this front part. If you're just uh, tuning in and uh, haven't watched my other video, I purchased this Hobonichi Techo uh, later on this year. So that's why, that's the reason why I have a lot of empty spots in the front. And I think I purchased it here, end of July, maybe end of July, August. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to start. I'm not going to be concerned about the days. I'll just write in big bold letters, maybe vlogmas, day one or whatnot. And I'm just going to go with the flow. Some days there might be just a half a page done. Some days there, may, there might be even a, like a double page spread. And I'm not concerned at all about the days. There will be video clips where I share with you like life in Japan. It's hard because I don't want to share too much <laughs> for personal reasons, but like for example, we went to a Peter Rabbit cafe, so uh, maybe this page spread, I'll do a little doodle and then I'll share with you some video clips of that lovely Peter Rabbit cafe that we visited. And that's where my mind is at. Um, please let me know if this is of interest to you, this vlogmas aspect. Um, opening a stamp with you each day um, and journaling with you each day just for a little bit. Uh, it might just be five minutes. <laughs> it might be 10 minutes. It might be me chatting away. It might be me being very quiet. Um, the lighting will definitely vary because I know I won't be able to film in daylight every single day. There's going to be um, evenings where I film as well. So yeah, please let me know because I myself truly enjoy watching vlogmas on YouTube. So I kind of want to put that back out there um, just as like a small little thanks. And because I appreciate it so much because I know it takes up a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, but if there's some way I can just bring it back into the community, I would be so grateful. Um, so that's why I thought it would be a nice idea. And plus, I, I want to do <laughs> I want to do this advent idea. I think it's such a fun way to sh shop your stash. <laughs> so before I ramble on too much, let's prepare some of the days together. Uh, these 
little kind of wrapping papers I used from the letter book. This one is the Japanese retro collection paper book. But there's so many um, designs available, um, like uh, different design books available. And this one is from the stationery selection. And my son was help. well, my daughter initially was helping me. And then he, of course, saw us creating or making something together. And he got, he wanted to participate. So he ended up creating these um, little envelopes. I think they're in the back here. And he did such a good job. Like, it's so cute. And he put one of the stamps in there. I think there's a, another one in here somewhere. So, yeah, this book has some ideas. Um, I know it's in Japanese, but I, th like he w I don't think he was able to read the instructions. He just looked at the pictures and um, created these envelopes. This is a nice way to fold a letter. Yeah, I'm just noticing now maybe my daughter kind of ripped out one of the pages by mistake. I think I might have to tape that in there. Uh, but, yeah, the... Oh, this is nice. This is, shows you a way to cover um, the cover a book. And, oh, this is very cute. You can see there. And some chopstick covers. So I was going to use some of these papers to stamp out some days, numbers, with the circle punch here. And, oh, that's pretty. The neat thing about this is that they're double-sided. Um, some of them have lines and then some of them don't. Let's use this one that doesn't have a line. And I kind of want to use, actually I want to use colors that kind of contrast to the colors here. So let's see, this is very cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see what other papers. Maybe this is very bright. It's easy to see. The yellow would be nice. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Let's um, make some space here. My desk is so small. I feel like there's... Actually, it's not small. It's a standard size, but I just have so much... <laughs> on the perimeter of it that you don't see <laughs> that I'm kind of like squishing pushing things away <laughs> so let's use this circle punch and make some lovely days so let's see how many packages we have oh this one already came out <laughs> Okay, let's um, cover it up. Let's cover it up. Yeah, I just let the kids have fun with wrapping. There's just no right, I said there's no right or wrong way of um, wrapping, so they just had uh, they just ripped out papers and wrapped the stamps. So we need, I lost track of my count, 16 I think. So let's start stamping or um, punching out the numbers or the circles. you want to see what you're punching, <laughs> um, you can put the pattern side up and then kind of aim it for a certain section. But I don't want to waste the paper, so I'm just going to go as close to the edge as I can. All right, and then... I am going to just simply number them. You can, of course, if you want like a more uniform 
a uniform uh, set of numbers you can use rubber stamps to stamp out the numbers I think I'm just gonna write directly on here um, yeah I'm just gonna direct <laughs> write directly on here and then we'll stick them randomly on the packages so there's number one there's number one Let's do number two. So this is the Sakura Micron Pigma Fine. And let's write two. so hard to do these on different angles this is the back side of the yellow one six seven Oh, I think I stamped out 17, but it's okay. I might uh, use 17 as maybe a sticker or <laughs> I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. Randomly, so I'm just going to randomly place them, the numbers down. If you uh, wanna participate, just let me know. You can tag me on Instagram. I am uh, at my life mitts and if you're if you're up for the challenge as well oh I think I missed one let's do 18 yeah if you're up for the challenge as well and you kind of want to shop your stash and you can also do these with washi tapes you can kind of um, wrap them up <laughs> and put them in little small packages I mean, the fun part for me is unraveling them and kind of rediscovering uh, the rubber stamps and stationary items. But of course, you can just put them in a bag and then um, kind of like like a raffle. <laughs> um, you don't have to wrap up all the little um, stamps and washi tapes. You can just put them in a bag and just kind of grab them as you go. That would be, I think, fun to, I think, if my kids were like smaller I would get them to participate as well but with school and stuff it's kind of difficult um, to film like if I wanted to film during the day they're at school so it'd be difficult for them to do that but maybe at night time it would be nice I'm curious to see what my son put in here so I'm gonna put this as number one <laughs> I'm very curious to see what he put in there so there's that something that's more contrast I feel like I'm gonna lose it so I'll put it here Maybe do yellow Be easier to see I'm I'm yeah I'm wondering if you purchased a stationary advent uh, which one did you get are you excited to open the advent calendar I purchased an, an, a yarn advent <laughs> and so I'm very excited oh yeah I might insert some of the, those clips at the end as well I know not everybody is like really um, interested in the fiber world or like yarn knitting crocheting and things like that so I might put that at the end uh, if I have a clip of myself opening each day the yarn advent I think that would be so much fun 
I'm looking forward to that. I bought, and maybe I'll do this for part of Vlogmas. I bought like a little advent calendar thingy. And so maybe I'll share that with you on one of the Vlogmas videos. I think I am, I ended up stamping more. Oh no, there's <laughs> four. Maybe I need to wrap up one more stamp. Because I think, or maybe I'll, yeah, I was thinking of using um, a file folder, file folder. <laughs> Let me grab one here. I did, uh, I purchased one from Rainbow Holic. Actually, I purchased uh, several from Rainbow Holic, but this one here is open. And so I might pull some sticker sheets and have some tabs sticking out and maybe I'll create some more numbers and then so I can pull that. Does that make sense? Uh, let me put these away first and then I'll kind of explain to you what I mean by that. This is so fun even just looking at them <laughs> like these little cute candies or it looks like a lot of fun. I'm really excited. <laughs> Okay, so let's put this off to the side. So what I mean by that is I'll have some sticker sheets and then um, I'm trying to think of a way to, actually let's use this because this is a Fusen roll, a roll Fusen. It's all adhesive in the back so it sticks on itself. Like it sticks, uh, you don't need um, a tape runner or glue to put it on paper, uh, but I can fold it on itself. Of course, you can do this with uh, sticky washi tape and that would be nice and sturdy. But I can do that and pull day four would be this one. <laughs> Maybe I should make some more. I went up to day 18. You want to, should we do a couple more? <laughs> um, Maybe I'll do up to day 20. What do you think? This one's already out, so. So maybe two more uh, circles. And we can. Gr I'll grab a couple more sticker sheets uh, while I turn off the camera, and we can put those together. So this will be day nineteen. But the nineteen and twenty will end up being sticker sheets. <laughs> uh, maybe I might rearrange something. I'm not sure. But let me know if you think this is a good idea. Am I wasting my time? Um, yeah, I would just really like to hear your thoughts on this whole kind of... Maybe somebody's already done it. Probably, eh? Someone's already kind of shopping their stash and putting things together like an advent. Um, but yeah, if you end up doing that, I would love to see and uh, hear what you put together. You can tag me on here or uh, you can send me pictures on email that would be nice too I know everybody's very busy during the holiday season so it's a bit difficult but I'm gonna try my best to post I don't think I'll be able to do it every day but I'm gonna try my best because like I said I really enjoy watching vlogmas every year it's like a, something I really really enjoy so so there's four, 19, 20, I'm gonna have to figure out. I might get one, maybe my kids will find another stamp for me or we'll see. So this is all ready to go. <laughs> all ready to go for Vlogmas or I guess, I guess you can say Vlogmas. I'm gonna see if I can run with it. Um, it's all packaged up. Yeah, leave me a comment down below and kind of cheer me on so that I don't <laughs> lose this momentum. I feel like um, 
I might lose some steam. But I, yeah, I really want to go, go with it. So I had this wonderful idea and I think it'll be fun to post almost every day and share with you a little bit of uh, creative time. And if you're interested, I will definitely share with you my everyday advent as well, knitting advent. I haven't decided which project I want to knit up with the advent calendar. Uh, I purchased an advent calendar from Ladybug Yarn. I think she's from the Netherlands and she says it's a fade so I'm excited but I haven't decided what project to knit up. Okay enough about knitting <laughs> because you can tell I'm uh, very passionate about knitting as well. I have a different channel for that if you're interested. It's so hard to film uh, about knitting because I'm very new to it and um, I just tend to just ramble. Well, I guess I'm rambling here too, but <laughs> okay. I hope you join me in this, uh, this year's vlogmas and this year's videos uh, in December. I'm excited to be sharing with you more, a little bit more uh, in my day to day and share with you some journaling, more journaling videos. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.